So I was listening to Where I Want to Be by Donnell Jones, and that's a song that really expresses what happens when a man begins a relationship from a blue pill mentality. Like when a man begins a relationship from a standpoint of investing emotionally to reap the benefits sexually, as in he gets to know a woman, takes her out on dates, that becomes his girlfriend, maybe even his wife. And along that process, he goes through things in his life, like maybe his career field or maybe his field of study, maybe just through his own personal self-improvement. He gets to the place where, yes, the sex may be good with his woman, but because of the way that situation started, he never truly feels fully desired. He never feels like that is she's fully open to doing anything that he wants to do. And maybe he has this whole Madonna whore complex where there are certain things he isn't comfortable asking his woman. Certain things that he feels like he just knows she wouldn't be open to, even if she would be. And if she is open to it, it may just be because she feels like he's going to leave if she doesn't do it. So to him, that may feel like pressure and he doesn't want to do that to her. See, the streets is not for everybody. You know, this, you know, this, this game of womanizing is not for everybody. Everybody isn't meant to be out there like that. And from the looks of that song, it wasn't really meant for him necessarily either. It's just a matter of he finally got to a point where he improved himself to the point where attractive women were now starting to show intrinsic sexual desire in him. Right. And some of that may have been clout pussy because, you know, he's, you know, famous uh, artist and he's working on his craft and. You know, that masculine, that sexual energy that was exuding from him is just something that would attract women to him like flies, like flies to shit. But this is why it's important to make sure that sex is integrated into your relationships. Because when sex isn't properly integrated into your relationships, that only works as long as you stay at the same level you're at when you meet that woman. If your attractiveness increases, your money increases, if you're dealing with a good woman, those things are going to increase. If you're dealing with a good woman, you're going to improve how you look. You're going to improve the way that you deal with and talk to women. You're going to improve in a lot of those areas. And the fact that you're not thirsty for other women because you have a woman is going to attract more women to you even more. So you just have to understand these things. That to the extent of how nasty you want to be, you need to make sure that the woman you're with is that nasty. And to the extent and to make and to make sure that you feel desired, you want to make sure that you feel sexually desired on a on a lust level from the woman that you're dealing with so that you can avoid being in a situation like Donnell Jones and where I want to be, where you're constantly in a in a situation where, yes, this woman is good to you. That's your baby girl. That's your girl. That's all this. You love her. She loves you back. It's a beautiful friendship. It's a beautiful relationship. But you're not as nasty as you want to be. You're not getting as freak. You're not getting as down and dirty as you want to. And because of that, it causes you to have this curiosity that where random women come along, it's a lot more alluring than it should be because you're putting her up on a pedestal. You're putting her up on a mantle trying to hide her from the world. Like, did you see the, the sandals that girl had on in that music video? Those things were atrocious. You know what I mean? She was a beautiful girl, but beautiful and sexy are not the same thing. There's a difference between beautiful and sexy. And a lot of the times men are afraid of their woman being sexy because they know that's going to attract other men. But if she's attractive, she's going to attract other men either way. You know, you have to make sure that the chemistry that you have with that woman on a one to one basis is at a high enough level to where you're not worried about that. You got to make sure that her level of character and your trust in her is high enough that you don't worry about that. And then you don't worry about what she does when you're not around. You just trust her that. Whatever she says is what she says. Outside of that, it's not your business. But everything that y'all do when y'all are with each other is enough to where you're not worried about her doing anything with anybody else because everything that you want to do, you're doing it. And if you cuff a woman, if you make a woman your woman before you get to that point, then it's off of trust. It's off of credit. You're like, okay, cool. we're not doing everything I want, but I think you're a good woman, so I'm going to make you be my woman uh, because I think you're a good woman and we get along well and yada, yada, yada. You might be a good mother to my children. But that desire, that lust is still going to be inside of you. So a lot of times people may talk about this and look at the different sides. I say the biology first approach is the answer to it. You know, a lot of people look at these situations and they don't see any solutions. There are solutions. The solutions is you need to integrate sexuality into your, your, your ideas of relationships. You need to integrate and make sure that you don't have a Madonna horror complex in the way that you see the woman that you love, because that woman can be that full sexual being. The same woman that you see as your Madonna can be that whore to somebody else. And if you know what you're doing, she can be that whore for you to where you don't need all those other women. When you reach a certain place in your sexual chemistry and then you integrate emotion into it, now you're at a place where you can have a much deeper, more profound experience than sleeping with a bunch of random women. But when you try to bring the emotion in first before you elevate the level of sexuality, then there's a certain level of decorum that comes with it. There's a certain level of 
not getting to a certain level of boundaries. There's a certain level of quote unquote respect and, and identifying respect with not re, uh, crossing sexual boundaries. And when you have that mindset, it's going to limit your ability to reach those full sexual places with the person that you actually care about. And then it's going to feel like the sex is, tr the emotion is trading for sex and that she's not going to want to, uh, be fully sexually submissive with you and she may say she wants to be married first or whatever it is or certain level of commitment and the fact that you know that's not necessary because of the other women around you is going to cause you not to trust her and then the fact is this she may say those are the things she needs in order to get to that deeper place with you sexually but the truth is this that's not true it's bullshit she may not know it but it is and after you give her the validation that she wants like a long-term relationship or a marriage you know now she's comfortable right Chances are you're not going to get the full level of sexuality out of that woman uh, until you're at the place where you're at the precipice of getting of her thinking that she's going to get what she wants from you. But after she gets it, there's no more reward for it. There's no more validation past the wedding date that uh, past the wedding date and having those children that gives her the motivation to have sex with you from that place of validation like she originally did. So this is why it's important to use the biology first approach when it comes to dealing with women. This is why it's important to make sure that you're sexually integrated within your relationships so you don't end up in a situation like Donnell Jones on where I want to be.